What's up, folks? Welcome back to Beyblader Burst. I'm your host, Michael Nightwing, and today we are doing a speed unboxing for this thing. Beyblade Burst Quad Drive Berserk Linworm and Wrath Fafnir. And look, it shakes. Yeah. Already unboxed. I did it on live. The live stream kind of went wonky, so we're running this back here. All right, so let's take a look here. So Wrath Fafnir. I say so a lot, don't I? Wrath Fafnir is a stamina type, which uses the Flugel core and also the, oh, with the attack bit of Spiral, tapered, and then Wrath Fafnir with the two looking armor. All right, let's give this thing away real quick and see how much it comes in. Because it looks like it's supposed to have a six attack, which is interesting. A 12 stamina, though. that's the big part for this. So let's start from the very bottom with the Flugel, which comes in at two grams, and then Spiral, that comes in at six grams. Then we're gonna do Tapered, just 26 grams, which actually is, is pretty good. One gram for the gravity ring. Like, I don't understand. These things are just useless. And I, I don't know what, what's the point, but okay. Seven grams and then the Fafnir core, four grams. So one thing I'm really trying to work on is not really judging and comparing Hasbro to, to Kiritomi because they are two completely different systems and I need to respect that. I need to respect the differences in these blades. Because if not, I'm just gonna be upset that they, that Hasbro gave us like softer versions of every single Beyblade. So that's what I'm working on. I'm working on remembering that Hasbro and Takira Tomi are different. And that's just how it goes. They're just two completely different entities. All right, so let's put this thing together though. So we're gonna put Linworm. Oh no, this is Fafnir. So we're gonna put Fafnir together. Boom. Throw this in. Tapered. And then all together it comes in at 46 grams. And then let's take a look at Berserk Linworm with Hunter. Two, I think it's like fusion, five grams. Total of seven grams. This disc though, I really like the disc. I like the fact that it's not a repeat. Cause Hasbro, to me, Takira told me keeps giving us repeats of the disc. And it's like, where's the imagination? What's going on here? Like right now, the next one coming out is probably it's Valkyrie with the over disc. How many times are we gonna get over? Like it's, it's unnecessary. I like that Hasbro is making different disc. Takira told me, please take notes from Hasbro. Make different disc, please. It's ridiculous. And then, oh, same thing with this armor. So this gravity ring here, that's gonna weigh like a gram, is totally different. Like it's not something that's here, I've never seen it before. It kind of looks like six, but it's not six. And the fact that it's different is fantastic because when you're trying to make a deck like I do of completely different parts, I kind of run, run out of armors to use for Takira Tomi. Five grams for Linworm and then Wrath, come, oops, okay. Wrath comes in at six grams. So yes, please, if anyone is watching from Takira Tomi, do better. Do better. So in total, this comes in at 45 grams. Okay, so 45, 45 grams for each one. And that's what we got in this quad drive box here. So what we're gonna do now, throw these bad boys into the stadium to see who exactly is the stronger version. And honestly, you guys are not gonna be, you guys are gonna probably be really upset when you see how terrible one of these blades is. Boom. Stadium time. All right, so we're gonna put Linworm in using the Hunter driver, and then we have Fafnir using Flugel. What was that?
Oh my goodness, what was that? Fafnir literally exploded after, like, way after contact. It just blew up. Oh. All right. So they both ended up bursting, but Fafnir definitely lost that one. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe Fafnir can make it a finish. Nice. Okay, it's avoiding. Not bad. Nice. Okay, there we go. It's like Fafnir surviving now. The question is, will it's 12, wow. 12 stamina, 12 stamina for Fafnir. Right. Parts everywhere. Nice. Oh my gosh, yo, I am getting tired of having to go and walk around to get this Fafnir layer. Like it refuses, it re literally refuses to stay within the parameters of the stadium. Like every single time it just keeps flying off. But hey, let me know, what do you think about my background? What do y'all think? You like it? You don't like it? I would love to know what you think about it. Obviously I think it looks awesome, but yeah, I wanna hear what you have to say. All right, so we're gonna put these Take off the tips, so now we're gonna use the fusion piece and then put it into the apex mode. Okay, so they're both in apex mode with the non-plus attachments. All right, Fafnir is definitely more aggressive with the spirals up and it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter how aggressive it is. It gets bodied. That was so easy. All right, we're gonna do one more. If Fafnir burst again, we're done with this video. Well, this is even the last one anyway. Because it's gonna burst. In three, two, one, burst. Oh, it didn't burst. All right, never mind. Spoke too soon. It's actually gonna, oh, it's actually gonna take the W? Fafnir wins. Okay, wow, Fafnir actually won that one. But all right, folks, that's going to be this battle here between Wrath, Fafnir, and Berserk, Linworm. I would love to know your thoughts on these two blades from Quadrive. And yeah, I'm your host, Michael Nightwing. I appreciate you watching this video. Please do me a solid favor. Subscribe to the channel or like this video if you can. Please go home and tell your mommy love, all right? Thank you so much. Fafnir burst. Uh, I'll catch you on the next video. See ya.